I want to show you how you can set up server-side tagging when using Pixel your site. What I will do in this video, I will create a server container. Basically, I will follow the instructions from this page. This is a very useful page. I recommend you Google for it. Google server-side fundamentals. Uh, it's somewhere here. And then read all these articles. They are quite informative. However, what we need to do is to set up a server container and then I will configure Google Analytics uh, and I will connect this container using a Google Analytics 4 tag, GA4 tag, triggered by Pixel Your Site. Um, so what is different from the recommended setup you will find on Google Docs is that the uh, container gets data from our plugin and uh, this is very easy to do. You just need to add the server side container here in this dedicated field. So you don't have to configure all the tags in a web container as well. So this is the part that we do. We send data to the server side container, making it easier for you to track uh, what's going on on the website. So uh, what am I going to do now? I will create um, a server side container following these instructions right here. And then I will configure a Google Analytics 4 tag in this container. So the data will go from your website using our plugin to the server container. And then from there to the GA4 property configured inside the container. Uh, so let's do it. What I need to do now is to create a container a server. It's important to select server. A meaningful name. And now uh, Google has this very nice option where they create the server for you. It's hosted on Google Cloud. It's very simple. If you want a different provider, you need to follow their instructions, but I will follow these steps. Uh, keep in mind that for now, we will have like a demo set up with no actual data. Once you uh, configure a live setup, and I will show you how to do it, you will need to pay. So the next step, once you click here, um, you will have to select a billing account. If you don't have one, there will be uh, some steps here where you create an account for Google Cloud. Uh, you give your uh, company data, details and your credit card uh, number. I already have an account, so I will select it. Now we have to wait for a few minutes until the, until the container is created. Okay, it's done. Uh, you don't have to do anything right now with this data. It's uh, available. I will show you where to, you can get it. Uh, but this is the new URL of the container. This is the URL of the demo version of the container. We will later set up this as a subdomain on our website. This is the link to the um, Google Cloud project. You can click and open the project with various settings. But all this data is available here. Admin, container settings. Here it is. Now, uh, you can copy this URL and uh, go to Pixel Your Site, main page, Opal Google Analytics, and add it here. You can do this now, you can do it later. Once you do so, here inside the plugin, we'll start to send data to this container. So keep in mind that this property that you have installed on the website will stop getting any data because the data is sent to uh, the server container. So right now we have no um, that data going to Google Analytics because the container is empty. We need to create a tag inside our container, our server container. And uh, we will create a Google tag following Google's instructions. We can find them here, configuring Google Analytics data stream. You can uh, configure other destinations. For example, um, there is a meta integration for API events. 
I will record a video later on and show you how you can do that as well. But keep in mind that Pixelio site has full support for uh, Meta Conversion API, so I'm not sure you need it. But let's do this. We need a client. Um, the client will receive data from the uh, GA4 browser tag. And I think we already have a client here. Yes, it's called GA4. And these are um, the settings. I think there is no need to change anything for now. Maybe this part. Yeah, this part, I think it needs to be, um, for now, it needs to be JavaScript managed because uh, the other option works with um, uh, subdomains only, which we don't have. Let me check in the um, Google's, um, yeah. Okay, yeah, this is JavaScript managed. You can also uh, tell Google to, to per process data only from a particular measurement ID. I don't want to do this, but maybe you can uh, do this as well. This is the ID you have configured here in the um, plugin settings. So basically the GA4 tag sending data. If you have multiple data streams, uh, you need to tell Google which one should be processed. In this case, I only have one. So no need to change that. Okay, save. Now we need a tag, go to tags new we want google analytics ga4 here you need to add the destination id it can be the same one that you have installed on your website or it can be a new one if it's a new one keep in mind remember that the old one will stop getting data uh, i will use a different destination um, i have this one already configured this is the ID that I want to use I think it's all good let me check if we need to sorry this one and do something else okay no mm. user properties include all by the way, um, we send user properties. I have another video on the website. So uh, these will be captured and received, um, captured by our plugin and received by the server container, which is quite nice. I think that's it. We also need a trigger. And there are instructions here on how to configure the trigger. The default page view trigger will not work in this case. We need a custom trigger um, that will uh, tell this tag to fire when the client has a particular name so custom client name equals j4 let's do this where is it okay new custom some events chose built-in variable uh, these are created by um, google automatically so client name contains j4 uh, I think it's fine. Name the trigger, save. Save. Uh, you have to give this uh, tag a name. I will give it the um, destination ID. save okay and uh, let's submit changes publish okay so now i have um, the client in place i have a tag that is supposed to send data to google analytics the client will receive the data from uh, the uh, ga4 analytics tag installed on your website with pixel your site because we have the server url here uh, the data will be sent using the tag and the trigger to the property that I configure inside the tag. So uh, now the data should flow from my website through the uh, server um, container to the GA4 property. Um, and to check if it works, 
you can test this set up workspace preview and now go to your website and the browse the website basically trigger some events it can be anything add to cart and check what's going on in the server container and uh, success we have this tag fired we have here the events by this tag and you can also go to the uh, real-time report of the um, property that is installed with the server container and um, let's see if it has any real-time data it does so it's working now we have uh, everything in place for this demo setup I will make another video where I will show you how you can actually go live with this setup. What we will need to do is to configure a subdomain on our website that will host, that will be mapped to the uh, server container. So we will have first, um, first party cookies in place and um, the data will, the real time data will actually go from the website to the server container map to the subdomain and then to the uh, tags installed in the server container what's very what's very nice about this is that you don't need to configure um, a, a browser container with all the tags events and triggers because we take care of this part pixel your site does it for you so if you have this message here you can uh, dismiss it because we already take care of this part the the browser tag configured on your website now i will make a different video explaining how you can uh, upgrade your servers to handle live tracking this part in this video we covered um, setting up a server container configuring google analytics data stream inside a container and connecting this container to your website using pixel your site and the Google Analytics GA4 tag installed on your website with Pixel Your Site. So Pixel Your Site tracks the data, send it to the container, and the container sends the data to uh, Google Analytics because we configure Google Analytics. You can have other destinations. That's it for now. Uh, I'm Christian Stoichesko from Pixel Your Site. I hope you enjoy this video. Like, share, and uh, of course, subscribe to our channel. And also watch the next one where I will explain how you can um, upgrade your server to handle live traffic.